Well, let's grab another one. Yeah, it looks like it. That's okay, you can... We got plenty of hooks and gear and stuff. Uh, he's gonna die. Just plug, pull the hook out, and we'll give him to Rodney and Matthew. Okay. Put him in a basket. And... There you go. That one is a casualty of war. He don't want to be a goner, anyways. There we go. There's another one. Been a little while since I hooked up on another one. I've been getting bites, but it's been a while since I hooked up on one. So. Oh, he come off. No. Oh, well, that's why it's called fishing and not catching, I guess. So I'm just throwing it in the canal and sifting and letting it drift. And, and when it gets down towards the end of the drift, I'm just kind of. Oh, I missed him. He just barely tapped me. I was ready to set that uh, hook. And uh, he just didn't have it in his mouth, so I missed him. But <laughs> learning to fly fish better doing this. Being that I don't fly fish a whole heck of a lot. But I figured it was a free weekend of fishing in Oregon. Come down here. Haystack. Um, not that I need to have a free weekend fishing to go fishing. But, you know, for people who didn't want or don't have a license. You know, it gives them an opportunity to fish. Um, but I just thought, well, come out here to Haystack, fish the canal, throw my fly rod, try to learn a little bit better uh, how to fly fish, uh, especially since I want to start fly fishing on Rivermore. I definitely want to learn how to fly fish uh, for stillhead. So I don't know if I'll ever learn that, but it's kind of expensive, just like any other fishing, though. But, there we go. Got another one. And this is a way of, if you're trying to get into fly fishing, it's not too hard to do to come to, onto a canal that you know has got fish in it. That runs right into the lake. It's just, you know, you want to learn how to do a little fly fishing, you know. Because it's got current like a river does, you know. Some people like to fly fish in the lakes, which is fine too but uh, this just gives you a little idea of what gonna happen at the river I'm guessing I don't really know like I said this isn't what I do a whole lot of but I always want to do more of so and there's another trout on the fly another beautiful rainbow trout mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, he gone. Got another one on. Another trout. Nice big jump for them, that one. These fish are strong, too, I'm telling you. They are strong. Wet in my hand. Now I gotta get him in.
He's just a spry guy, I'm telling you. There you go. Well now, got another one on. I don't know how many fish that's, that is, but I'm catching <laughs> quite a few during this fly fishing gig. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's looking, you know, like that. Um, I'm just getting lucky, I think. I just picked the right fly because it kind of looks like a salmon fly or a trout fly and so um, it's imitating what they're eating on top of the water anyways so oh he gone so that's probably why it's working so good but I'm gonna switch out here anyways and try something different uh, after I finish this stretch just try something different so, got another one on, got another one on. I don't know, just a lucky day of fishing, I guess. This one's staying deep, not like all the other fish I've caught so far. Oh, not very deep, I don't think. Three, four feet, maybe. So, but he's just bulldogging, trying to stay deep, don't want to come up, trying to shake the hook. But. Well, see, look at that beaut. He a big one. See, he's a nice one. Yeah. Get this hook out of his sh sh now and let him go. But first, we gotta kiss him. Time to let him go. Oh, that had to hurt. You wanna fly fish again? I'm trying. Oh, he came off. Another one came off. this may be the first one I land on the nymph, but at least I got one on the nymph. I've I've lost about seven of them on the nymph, but finally got it on the nymph. Oh yeah. Slam, slam, slam. Okay, okay, get my hand wet. Grab him up. Kiss him. Give him guys a view of him. And 
take the hook out. You can get it out. Mm. Final view of him. And then we'll let him go. He's gone. <sighs> Talk about fly fishing thumbs up from G-Man. Right, there's another one. Take me a while to get another one on the nymph, but I, I got one. It's just a, I don't know if they're really on the, the underwater flies or not, or sinking flies, but uh, hey, I ain't complaining here. I've gotten more than enough fish today. Most people would be satisfied with the amount of fish I've caught today. And I am satisfied, don't get me wrong. I just like to fish. So I fish as much as possible. Oh, 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 oh. Oops. Mm -hmm. Final view of the floppy fish. And he gone. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Wow, this is a this is a big one. Oh. Oh man, this is this is uh this one's a kids worthy one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, that one's oh oh yeah. Whew. Look at this one baby. It's big. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Wow. What's that? All right. That is the biggest one of the day. It's a trout. Big old rainbow. We, keep it. we don't even need them though. No. You want to give it to Rodney? Yeah. All right then. We can. We can probably do that. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to get down here to get. It. Wow! Look at the size of that trout. Yeah. Oh, it's not even on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get far enough 
Uh huh. I don't want to kill this fish. I want to kiss it and release it. We're not gonna kill it. Okay, we're not us. Following. Get the seven out and get me kissing and releasing this one, bud. You want to talk about a fish worthy of a G-Man kiss, kissing and releasing. <laughs> All of them are worthy. But man, this one is just a massive fish. Mm -hmm. Get down here and do a good release. Oh. All right, he's gone. Bye-bye, fishy. Oh man, what a massive trout. See? Uh. Talk about thumbs up from the G-Man. Wow, didn't expect to catch that on a fly rod today, but it was a beaut. And I was just gonna see killing it. Talk about fish worthy of <laughs> All of them are worthy, but man, this one is just a massive fish. Mm -hmm. Get down here and do a good release. He's gone. Bye bye, I think. Oh man, what a massive trout. Got another one on. <sighs> nice. I'm just catching them. Look at that fly rod bend. They're not giants, all of them, but they're all, you know, decent size keepers if we wanted to keep them and eat them. But we'll, the ones we do got, we're keeping because they swallowed the hook. Because my daughter's using worms, so. I don't see no reason in killing them if we don't have to, because we don't necessarily eat them anyways. So, but we're going give to give the ones we do keep away. Somebody who likes to eat fish and can't necessarily make it out to go fishing because they got hurt back or whatever. And we did try to get his son to go with us today, but we uh, he didn't want to wake up, so he didn't get to come with us today. Mm, beautiful amounts of trout. Let him go. He gone. Got another one. This time I got him on a different fly. Switched it up. Making different presentations for different fishes. Um, don't ask me the name of some of these flies because I have no clue. I've used them and had luck with them in the past. So I just keep getting them. Oh, they come off. Dang it. Uh, first one on this fly here. I'll show you what it, what it is since... Uh, I haven't landed one yet on it. It's this one right here. I don't know what the name of it is. 
No clue, but I had one on there and lost it. Got another fish on the hopper, creek hopper. Got it all wrapped up. Right. Let me wet my hand first. <laughs> Here we go. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a long one. They Just one of them. Oh, two of them, yeah. She gonna... <laughs> She's gonna kiss and release him. He's all dirty. Double the kiss, all right. And he's gone. Healthy and happy. Where'd he go? All right, got a fish on. I put the fly rod down. Um, so I wanted to throw something else. I caught a lot of fish on the fly rod. Oh, now I'm throwing the trusty pink trout magnet. Cause you know, when you're trout fishing and you like the trout magnet, you gotta put it on and throw it. So that's what we're doing. So I'm just throwing it out there and doing like I normally do with a trout magnet and just bouncing it. Oh, I missed another one. You are the what? Oh. You got a headache or something? Oh. Got another one on. I've lost everyone I've hooked on the trout magnet so far but maybe this one will be the first one we land on the trout magnet today and this is the pink one my fave and that's a pretty decent little trout too in my hand bring him over here Got him. Get this hook out of him. And kiss him and let him go. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's another one. And he gone. Yeah. All right, we got another fish. This time we finally got a small mouth bath, the first bath of the day. It is what me and my dad, when I was growing up, would call a trophy. Because you know what? That's what they are, is a future trophy. They grow up to be big and strong, and if nobody decides they want to eat them, they become a trophy. Uh, make sure you, Krista. You gotta make sure you got a good look at it. We probably got a small mouth bath, the first bath of the day. It is what me and my dad, when I was growing up, would call a trophy. 
Because you know what? That's what they are, is a future trophy. They grow up to be big and strong. And if nobody decides they want to eat them, they become a trophy. Make sure you... Krista. I know. Yeah. You got to make sure you got a good... Okay. Fish on. Another fish on. Another fish on. There's another trout. Very nice. Very nice. video oh yeah this is this is gonna be the outro because we decided to leave 